Hey y'all, I'm going to make a pair of pants. And before I jumped into it, I thought I should share this. Okay. Give you a sneak peek into, um, trouser making and making sure you get a good fit. It is at the top of the list of people who sew, who avoid trousers, struggle with the fit and all of that. And it takes a while to really get it right. So anyway, this is what we're going to make. Now, let me tell you, I am really impressed with this pattern, how it's, how the pattern is designed to help you um, determine what size to cut and all of that. So let's jump into it and I'll show you why. So if you're going to approach this pattern, again, nine six simplicity 9647 it's a regular trouser pattern these are the things i suggest you have pen pencil highlighter and uh, your seam gauge okay so what i did i approached this pattern these are my measurements i put my uh waist measurement that's my waist measurement that's my hip measurement, nine inches below the waist. Y'all know where that measurement is, okay? And then I put them again here, just so I can keep up, because we want to look at finished garment measurements, including design and wearing ease. And I put my measurements here. And then I also did my finished length measurement from waist, because I, I really want to know where I'm going to wear them. Now, here's the extra measurements I put here front crotch, y'all remember that, and back crotch. My front crotch is 12 and a half and my back crotch is 17. Okay, so I put those down here because that's separate. So I wanna look at the body measurements first to see what area I'm in of size, and then we're gonna to compare to finished garment measurements. So this, how I, this is how I'm thinking. Here's my waist, it's right here, in between a 20 and a 22, okay? I'm gonna to lean towards a 20, I already know that, okay? Um, my hip is 42. Remember, go back and look and see what the design looks like. Now, yeah, this model is nowhere near where we are, we know that. But you just you just wanna look and see how it's fitting, depending on the ease. Because I do know there's two and a half inches all around ease in this finished garment but we see it fits kind of close, okay? I wanna go back and look at that. So I would be okay with a 42 hip, which is me, right below a 20. It wouldn't be too bad, okay? But we can take a look at it along the way, okay? Second thing is, here's our finished garment measurements. My waist is a 35. So this finished garment in the waist is a 35, and I am okay with that. That means it buttons up and it's it fits my waist. So I'm going to stay there. I'm still at the 20. Okay? And then the, fi the finished side length, that's the length from the waist down. I'm okay there because I want my finish, my waist to the floor is 42 inches. If I wanted to wear it with a heel or a boot, I would be two inches, two or three inches off the floor. So that's an area that I can play around with, okay? I'm making C, by the way. Forgot to put that on there. That's the size that I'm gonna make. So it'll be 36. So if you can determine a size based on what you would get in the finished garment, measurement, okay, there's a waist and a hip, okay? Now, let's look at the hip. I'm a 42 hip. If I cut a 20, I'm gonna have about four inches ease in this garment around. I am gonna really be okay with that because I don't want it too snug. And if I feel like I need to take it in just a little along the way, along the hip, I can do that, okay? So I'm gonna decide that I'm cutting a 20, And now I'm gonna focus on seeing what the 20 looks like for the crotch, the front crotch and the back crotch. 
Now let's get into this pattern. These are some of the things that I'm really liking about this pattern. Basically information that you need, okay? So here's some finished garment measurements. Here's the hip again. I'm a 42, okay? That's gonna be a finished garment measurements, but I'm, I wanna do a 20 because of my waist. All right, and I'm okay with 46 inches. So it just reiterates it here. And then it goes into total ease above body measurement is approximately two and a half inches. That's total ease around the garment more than your body measurement. Good information. And then here's another snippet. These are This is information that they don't have space to put on the back of the pattern, okay? And then take a look at this. Here's your crotch line. Now, this is a cross. This is if you sat down and how much room you would have across here. Here's a crotch line. I'm cutting a 20. Here's my crotch line. Let me show you something. Five eighths. Here's my crotch line, 20. It's here. Look how, see? That's the finish crotch line. That's five eighths in. That's where your seam is going to be. Okay, so we'll I'll, we'll take a look at this throughout, looking at the pattern too. It's the same on the back. Here's the crotch line for the back. Okay, the twenty. Where am I? Okay. <laughs> Okay, that's where the 20 stitch line will be. Okay, so if you're if you're stitching five eighths inch seam allowance, <clears throat> that's where your finished crotch line is going to be. Plus, for those of us who are really familiar with um, adding crotch um, crotch ease into a pattern, this is a good spot to do that if you needed to open up the thigh, the inseam. So as we focus on doing the front crotch and the back crotch, we're gonna do the front first, okay? This is what we need to measure here. And I'm gonna stay on my 20 line because that's the size that I've decided, already decided that I'm gonna cut. But one thing's missing. We gotta put the waistband right here so we can do one full measurement because we wanna know what does the crotch measurement, what will the crotch measurement be when I finish putting the pants together? Here are my waistbands. I'm gonna align the um, front waistband onto the pattern and I'm gonna align the back waistband onto the pattern so we can get one one full measurement from finish seam to finish seam on the crotch. And I did the same thing on the pant leg pattern. Here's five eighths cent seam allowance here. Here's five eighths cent seam allowance here from the 20 size. Same here on the back. So here's what I did. I marked the seam allowance points on each pattern piece, the waist, the leg, at the crotch and here. So I uh, overlapped. Here is the 5 8 seam allowance point for both pieces. So I overlapped here and here's the top. So imagine if this was stitched and folded. So I'm gonna measure from this top seam allowance point or this top, top stitch line all the way down on the 20 size 20 line because I've decided that's the size I wanna cut. And I'm gonna stop here, because here's that 5 eighths stitch line here. My, when I go back to my pattern, I wrote it on here, my front crotch is 12 and a half. That's a finished measurement. So I'm gonna crawl my tape measure down. And I am coming up with 12 and a half. I can't believe that, really. It's, it's got to be a flute. But anyway, let's measure again. <laughs> but it, it, it's going to work. Just crawl it. Yeah, it's right at 12 and um, 12 and 5 eighths. All right. I am okay with that measurement. 
for my front crotch. Let's go to the back. Okay, my front crotch is 17. I'm, I'm sorry, my back crotch is 17. So here's my stitch line here, the waistband. I've overlapped it with the stitch line uh, to the leg and I'm gonna measure down to the stitch line at the crotch point. Here, just crawl it down, stay on your size line. And I'm 15. Now, I'm gonna go back to the pattern envelope and I'm gonna to look to see, look at the fit again. I think it would be a little short for me, okay? And what I'm gonna to think to do is, because of the amount of ease that's in this pattern and how I want it to fit, I think I'm gonna add an inch, okay? So just make sure I have that room. You know I'm going to make a muslin, right? you got to make a muslin too when you do this, right? Okay, so we're going to do a muslin. I'm going to do uh, 16. I'm going to take my back crotch up to 16 and see how it fits. Okay. So in case you have not done this before, made an adjustment to a um, trouser crotch. Here's my back crotch. I want an inch in the rise only. We don't want it on the side seam. We, we don't want to just add an inch across. We're going to slash and hinge at the side seam. And a couple of personal rules that I've adopted. Um, I like doing it above the deepest curve of the crotch. And I've just decided that I'm going to do it right here. Okay. So that I can just true up this line. All right, so I'm going to draw a line from here to here, and I'm not going all the way through when I cut it. It's just going to hinge right there. Here's my tissue that I'm going to use to put underneath. I'm going to draw a line from here to here, and I'm going to stop because I'm going to hinge it on this side. So let's use your rotary, your scissors, whatever you like. I'm just gonna hinge it right there. If it comes apart, it's fine, just tape it back. <laughs> okay, and you see how I'm using my grid right here? Put it right there. And let's put a pattern weight right there so it doesn't shift on us while we're moving it around. Got some more tissue. I use the same tissue from the pattern. Okay. Just hinging right there. And I just want an inch. Look at there. Here. All I want is an inch. So I'm just going to tape all of this down and then I'm going to true up this line. So I'll have a new crotch with an inch more measurement. So I've got it all taped down and I'm gonna use my curve to true up this line. And I know sometimes we struggle with where to put the curve and all that. Use the curve line, the existing curve line as a guide. I'm gonna put this right on my size and follow, and just follow it, okay? You don't want too much curve, so I'm just gonna get about right there. And if this curve ruler is too much for you, get another one. That's what I usually do. Okay, let's see where I am. Okay, I think that's gonna be good. I'm gonna draw a line. I think that's good, right? Here's my size line. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at there. I've got an inch more in my crotch. I am ready to cut out fabric. 